<clears throat> All right, guys, what is going on today? So, um, obviously, I got the Ranger School flag up today, so we're going to be talking a little bit about Ranger School, and the topic of discussion today is going to be how you can get a slot for Ranger School. Quick update for all the subscribers out there. I just got done with a run maybe like 10 minutes ago, just finished up stretching, uh, got in about 12 miles, okay, at a 720 pace per mile, feeling really good, uh, full disclosure. Um, had an excellent night last night uh, with my wife to celebrate Valentine's Day. We celebrated a couple days early just because uh, Valentine's Day falls on a Monday, which is a work day for me. Um, so we went out and celebrated Valentine's Day together, and I had a little bit too much to drink. Um, but hey, you know, worked it off today and still not bad. Still feeling pretty good. Um, just, you know, maybe slightly hungover, but no big deal. Nothing we can't, uh, nothing we can't run off. But the marathon training is going good. Um, I'm going to start up in the mileage this week. So um, you'll see if you guys are following me on Strava, you'll see that the mileage is going to start increasing. And I'm going to do my best to maintain that like sub eight, um, just over seven minute mile pace, um, even though I'm up upping the uh, mileage as I go um, for every day that I'm running. So we're going to be stacking on a lot of miles uh, here in the next few weeks as we're working up towards uh, the marathon and, and the ultras here in the next few months. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys uh, with that. If you guys aren't subscribed, real quick, uh, make sure that you do because one of the reasons that I'm doing uh, this video right now, this second, while I have the moment to do so, is because I happened to catch um, another video on YouTube while I was running. I was, I was listening to somebody on YouTube and a video came up. And I'm not going to name who it was or what the channel was, but the, it was about how to get a slot for Ranger School. And I, it honestly just kind of rubbed me the wrong way because in my opinion... And for me, being on active duty, um, my opinion on uh, on this military uh, YouTuber's take on how you can get a slot for Ranger School was there was just way too much tunnel vision there. OK, um, I don't want you guys to only see that video and think that those are the only like three ways to to be able to get a slot in Ranger School and get completely discouraged because it's just not true. OK. Um, again, I don't want to like get, I, I'm not trying to call anybody out. I just don't want you guys, okay, to get the wrong impression on how you could possibly get a slot for Ranger School. All right, so if you're not subscribed, I would highly recommend that you do so because I'm probably the most down to earth and real military YouTuber you're going to find out there. And I'm only here to motivate you, educate you, and give you all the necessary information that you could possibly use to enhance your military career, okay? Anyway, let's get into it. So, Ranger School flags up, that means we're gonna be talking about Ranger School. So first of all, there's really no guaranteed way, like one guaranteed way to get a slot to Ranger School. Um, there are a couple of ways that are very likely, okay? And they're probably the things that you've heard of before. That is one, go the officer route, infantry officer, and go to iBullock, and most likely, like 98% chance, you're gonna get a slot to go to Ranger School after that. Um, and also, if you join uh, the Ranger Regiment, 75th, um, by the time you're getting looked at for E5, yeah, you're going to get a shot to go to Ranger School, most likely, okay, unless you just suck at being a Ranger. Those two are the most common. I'm not going to beat those up because I'm sure if you have any interest at all on going to Ranger School, you've probably heard about that. You've heard about it enough. I don't need to get super into it, right? But what about all the other guys and gals out there, all the other soldiers and airmen and Marines that get a chance to go to Ranger School? Do you think they're all coming from Ibolic and they're all going back to Ranger Regiment when they're done? I don't think so. Granted, uh, a good chunk of soldiers that are going to be there in any given Ranger class are going to be from Ibolic and from Ranger Regiment, but at least I would say, uh, coming from experience, 50 to 60 percent of the students of any given Ranger class are going to be from other units, okay? Active and National Guard. I also think it's important to tell you that I actually did end up going to Ranger School myself after I attended Ibolic, so I was on that course to go to Ranger School uh, personally. However, at that time, I had about uh, 11 years of service in the Army, okay? And I had seen tons of soldiers from all walks, all different MOSs um, and different ranks go to Ranger School and be successful, and, and some not be successful. <laughs> but they at least had a shot to go, all right? And that was coming from combat MOSs that were not infantry and also non-combat MOSs. And one of the things that all those guys had in common who were actually able to get a slot to Ranger School from their unit was they were all high achievers with PT. They were either maxing the PT test or very close to it, or at least, you know, one of the 
one of the most you know physically fit people uh, in their platoons. They always showed good leadership and teamwork skills, always worked really hard on any given mission that the unit had at any given time. And they were always at the right place at the right time in the right uniform. So they were all high performing, high achieving uh, soldiers already, not only displaying to the leadership that they actually had the capacity um, and the potential to actually graduate Ranger School, but they were the best choice uh, in their unit and they showed their leadership that they're actually deserving for a shot to, for their unit to send them to ranger school. You gotta understand that if, if your unit agrees to send you to ranger, that means they're losing a soldier for an unknown period of time, okay? They're not necessarily having to pay a whole lot for you to go because a lot of ranger, you know, you don't stay in a hotel or anything. There really isn't a whole bunch of TDY costs for it um, besides, you know, getting you out there depending on where you're coming from. But the fact that they're losing a soldier from anywhere between, you know, 61 days to maybe even 12 months, that's a big risk for a unit to take. So you have to be the kind of soldier that displays the right amount of potential and the right amount of dedication for your unit to actually, you know, be willing to invest that much um, into you. So that's just clearing the air altogether. You can't be an, an underachiever or even a, a middle ground soldier. You have to be an above average soldier in order to even get considered for ranger school, period. And this is gonna apply for everyone, okay? But let's like dial it down into everybody else that's in the army that's not going iabolic and not serving in the 75th, okay? So it doesn't matter if you're in the infantry or if you're even uh, non-combat arms, doesn't matter. We're gonna do blanket statements from here on out, all right? I'm gonna throw some ideas at you that you can use that I have actually seen other soldiers do and I knew I could have done before I went to iabolic to actually get a shot at ranger school. And these are proven ways because, you know, talking to a lot of the uh, students in my ranger class even, these are the ways that they actually found themselves getting to the school and eventually leaving with a ranger tab. So first and foremost, kind of a gimme, but um, I definitely think it's worth talking about and that is re-enlisting for ranger school. If you're that serious about going to ranger school, then that tells me you probably want to stay in the army for more than just a couple years. So you're probably thinking about re-enlisting. Well, when you re-enlist, don't leave that office without getting ranger school inside your contract. Now, trust me, you can do this. I did that my first re-enlistment, I got airborne, okay? I could have got a lot more, I just didn't know any better. And there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, raising your hand for an additional few years of service as long as you get a shot to go try out and, and hopefully complete the hardest training that the Army has to offer. I mean, that sounds like a pretty high-speed soldier to me. It sounds like a pretty high-speed thing to ask for, right? So I would say in most cases, um, your unit would not have too much of an issue with that unless you're an underachieving soldier and unless, you know, all your records and your PT scores and all those things just say you have no shot at Ranger School. You know what I mean? But if you're an overachiever and you and you have an actual shot at, at being successful at Ranger School, there shouldn't be an issue with that. They should be able to give that to you. So that's the first thing. If you really want Ranger and you already know you're going to re-enlist, don't leave your career counselor's office without getting that in your contract. Another good solid way to get a shot at Ranger School is going to and crushing Soldier of the Month boards, Soldier of the Year boards. Okay, trust me when I say this, those boards might seem like unnecessary, you know, you don't get a promotion out of it, but you get a whole lot of other things out of it. Not only are you having to study, you have to, you become a better soldier as you're preparing for those boards and competing at those boards. Not only are you representing your unit in a positive way, but if you actually do well, Trust me, your leadership's gonna notice that and they're gonna be thankful for you actually putting forth the effort to represent them. Because any good leader in the army will tell you that the only reason they're successful is because all the subordinates underneath them were successful themselves. This is a team event, all right? The whole army is a team event. So I would highly advise you do that. Go to a Soldier of the Month board. What's the worst that can happen? Try your best at it, get competitive, try to win. Take it as far as you can possibly go. You know, try to get all the way through Soldier of the Month, Soldier, Soldier of the Year, who knows? You might go all the way up to the national level, you know? You never know, trust me. You'll never know until you get there. But no matter what, once you actually do well, and if you just win the Soldier of the Month at your unit, chances are you might get a shot at being able to ask for something that you want, some sort of army school, some sort of army training, um, ranger school. And if you've already proven to your leadership that you can do well at something like a Soldier of the Month board, then that displays to them that you're a serious soldier, you mean what you say, and that you have a good shot at being successful at Ranger School if they send you down there. And I'll also throw this in there along with like Soldier of the Month, Soldier of the Year, Soldier of the Quarter, whatever we want to call it, Audie Murphy boards, those are all great options. You also want to consider, you know, like Best Medic or best fister or whatever best whatever competitions there are out there for whatever unit you're in go for those that's your ticket to ranger school even if it's just a low level pt competition go out there get competitive and crush it 
And that's going to just increase your chances. It's going to skyrocket your chances, trust me. And even if you didn't get a Ranger School slot after trying for it with going to, you know, these competitions or these boards, you're still going to end up being a better soldier. You're still going to be more competitive and be in a higher place on the whole, you know, soldier spectrum um, than if you'd never tried in the first place. Okay, so you're going to learn a lot from it regardless. It's always a good thing to do. Another thing that a lot of you can do is uh, make sure that you are doing your best to find yourself in units, either through volunteering or reenlistments or however you get to this new unit, you know, selections, stuff like that. Find yourself in a unit that considers themselves to be um, elite, okay, or better than, you know, some other units out there. Those are typically going to be like your airborne units, your special operation units, um, special reconnaissance units. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. Those units are going to be more likely to want to send you to ranger school because they consider themselves to be on a higher tier than others, and, and rightly so a lot of times, especially the airborne units. They're really big on ranger. Again, finding yourself in a unit like that, even if you didn't get a shot at ranger, you're still going to be way better for it. And going back to, and circling back to the airborne thing, um, in my experience, if you're an airborne soldier or somebody who's already airborne qualified, your chances of going to ranger just seem to be a lot higher than somebody who's not. And that's really just because a lot of those uh, airborne units out there, um, you know, they consider themselves again to be on that elite level. Um, and a lot of times the word elite um, in the army kind of coincides with the ranger tab. It's just the way it is. You guys know what I mean. If you've been in the army for more than a couple of years, you know exactly what I'm trying to say. So if you're in a unit that's just not really about that kind of stuff, do your best to, uh, you know, try to branch out, try to better yourself, try to try to bring your motivation into somewhere that um, it's going to be able to be utilized better um, for the sake of not only yourself, but for that unit and for the army as a whole, and hopefully for another shot to get to ranger school. All right, so let's go a little further down into the rabbit hole, try to expand our minds even further. Um, in case you didn't know this, I think at any given time, there's somewhere between five and 10% of any given Ranger cl school class that consists of walk-on students. Don't hold me to that. Don't go out and like fact check me on this, okay? But I wanna say I'm pretty confident in that assessment. Um, just, just know that at any given time, there's a really good shot that you would have to be able to walk on to Ranger School if you were at Fort Benning during day one of in-processing. When I was there at my class, this was only a few years ago, okay, they have, on day one during in-processing, they actually take all the different uh, incoming Ranger students and they group them up based on units because they have a certain amount of slots per unit in the army that they give um, so that those units can send their soldiers to ranger school and it's all sorts of units it's not just regiment it's not just cybolic you know it's all kinds of units you got the 82nd 173rd um you got 101st then you have a whole bunch of units that you never heard of i mean you got all sorts of units okay and then there's even a whole group for available walk-on slots and when i was there there was like at least, I don't know, anywhere between, it seemed about roughly 50 guys um, over there trying to walk on a ranger school. And I think all of them minus a few actually got in. Now, I don't know each one of their individual stories. I don't know how they ended up at Benning. I don't know if they're stationed at Benning and they're just trying to walk on. But there are ways that you can find yourself at Fort Benning, line it up with a ranger school start class date and get your unit's approval and just walk onto the course. Um, some of the ways that you could do that is already be there for something else like Airborne, uh, there's Air Assault School there, there's R Slick, Pathfinder is still there, Jumpmaster. I mean, there's tons of schools at Fort Benning that you might find yourself being there already for. And all you have to do is line that class up, that, that school up as best you can with the start of a ranger school class date just go you know while you're in that class already communicate back with your unit let them know that you know next week there's a ranger school class opening up and you want to try to walk on hopefully they'll let you do it i'm not, I'm not saying it's guaranteed but there's this has happened in the past this is how guys get on make sure you got all your shit together make sure you got your packing list make sure your head's shaved and you can do your best to walk onto that class after whatever other school you've you've done is over but however way that you can, you can get creative in the army, believe it or not. However way you need to finagle a walk on to ranger school, get creative and try to figure it out with your unit. Show up with the right paperwork, a haircut, packing list. Who knows? You might be able to walk on. People do it all the time. And for all you guys that are stationed at Benning, you should already know that. Um, you're probably just thinking that I'm wasting your time right now. But if you're stationed at Benning and you haven't tried to walk on to ranger school, then you're not working hard enough. Because you and I both know that it's totally possible. 
for you infantry uh, specialists and sergeants out there, actually just any infantry period, um, you can actually get with your branch manager and go to ranger school in route to your next unit uh, for your PCS. Because believe it or not, they are always running short of ranger qualified infantrymen. And branch is more than willing to set up something for you like that, where they just set you up with a school date that coincides with your PCS, you go to ranger school in route, and then get your tab before you show up to your next unit, hopefully. And I think this is still happening for infantry uh, specialists, E4s. Um, double check me on this, okay? But I wanna bring this to your attention in case you didn't know, because this definitely was happening at least like a year or two ago. Um, E4s, if they go and they get their ranger tab, get automatic promotion to E5, which is just a whole nother incentive for you to go. And that really just drives home and proves the fact that they are really needing ranger qualified individuals. So do that too. If you're if you're an infantry specialist, make sure you, uh, you can call up Branch or email them. I would suggest you might just email them and ask about that. So those are some of the most common ways that I've seen uh, soldiers successfully get a slot to ranger school. I understand it's difficult and I understand that you don't always have the leadership that backs you. I feel like I'm gonna get a whole bunch of comments saying, my leadership always says, why would I wanna go to ranger school? They're not gonna send me to ranger school. Our unit doesn't have slots for ranger school. All those things, I get it, okay? I've been there, I've heard it. Um, it continues to happen today. I, I, I'm sorry about that, I know it, it sucks, but that doesn't mean that you should just like sit on your hands and quit. You need to continue to be a high achiever, and the best thing you can do to get whatever you want in the Army, regardless if it's Ranger School or any other type of training or really just anything, period, is just be that, that buzz in your first line's ear that just constantly, almost like a nagging, like, I want to go to Ranger School, I want to go to Ranger School, I want to go to Ranger School, every single day. And make sure that you're proving yourself to them as you're nagging them that you are capable you're smart enough and you're motivated enough to actually handle the rigors of Ranger School. That means you gotta be good at PT, you gotta show leadership skills, and you gotta be a good soldier all around. Now I do realize I'm kind of like a diehard soldier. Um, you know, I, I, I like to say all the time that if I don't necessarily believe um, that people have callings in life, but if they did, I think mine would be to be a soldier. And I realize that a lot of things that I say, you know, it's, it's in the context of a lot of time, like years at a time. But that's really how you have to look at this kind of stuff sometimes, okay? You don't just get what you want instantly. Sometimes you do. You never pass up an, uh, an opportunity in the military, okay? If you get an opportunity to get something done, take it then and there. Don't wait. But also understand that some of these things do take a little bit of time, okay? And commitment, all right? And right, rightfully so. That's just how it is. Ranger school takes a lot of commitment. It's hard just to get to ranger school. It's hard just to walk into the door of the schoolhouse. No matter who you are, unless you're going through Ibolic or you're in Ranger Bat, you're going to have to fight for your chance to get a Ranger School slot. And just understand that Ranger School itself is all about not quitting. And if you quit on even trying to get to Ranger School before you even show up to the door, then trust me, you have no business going to Ranger School. Just stay motivated, stay being a high achiever, and keep buzzing into your first lines here that you want to go to Ranger School, and eventually you will go. So I hope that sparked a little bit of creativity for you guys and, and gives you guys a little bit of solace and, and hopefully it motivates you to stay out there and keep getting after it. I, I know there's a lot of guys, I hear it all the time, I really want to go to Ranger School, but my leadership doesn't let me go. Well, there's other ways to make it happen, man. You just got to get creative and you can't quit and you got to figure it out. There's always a way to get what you want um, in the Army. You just really have to stick with it and just have that tenacity um, and fortitude to just take the punches as they roll until eventually that one day comes where you finally get what you want and you just better be prepared when that day comes. So stay motivated and stay dedicated to what you want. And don't listen to those other YouTubers out there that are telling you anything different, okay? I don't know why it's talked about like that. I, again, I, it's just wrong, okay? I'm sure I missed uh, something or like I'm unaware of another way that you could possibly get to Ranger School. If you guys are watching this and you know of another way or had a buddy that did it in another way, please put that in the comments for everybody so that they are aware of that knowledge because um, this video is meant to be helpful, okay, for everybody out there. Real quick, I want to remind you to like this video because I know it was good information and I know you liked it because you are all the way here to this point. Don't quit our Ranger School. You can absolutely get there. Just keep trying, get creative, bother your leadership, stay motivated, and you will get there. All right, guys, well, I think I've talked to you guys enough about how to get a slot to Ranger School. Um, again, if you have any other questions, hit me up in the comments. No problem. I'll make sure to get to you. And besides that, I got nothing else for you, and I'll see you on the next one.